in 19, I think it was 78, you and I were sitting on a beach uh, in uh, and on Sand Key. That's correct. Um, just outside Dunedin. We were both there for the Blue Jay spring training. And <clears throat> I think we had dinner before, but we were having drinks by the uh, ocean, by the pool. That's right. And uh, we got into a conversation about how the Blue Jays were launched and what the prospect was of the NFL coming to Toronto. And I don't know if you remember this, Godfrey, but we made a bet. 46 years ago, we made a bet. You said that Toronto would be an NFL city, and I said, no chance. Um, and we bet dinner. And it's 46 years later, you still owe me dinner. Okay, I, I'll have to make that up to you for sure. <laughs> well, I, I hope I so. Haven't given up the, I haven't given it up, even though I thought we had a good good shot at it. Uh, when it's uh, a Buffalo deal, yeah. No, no, not so much the Buffalo deal because I think the Buffalo deal, uh, because they uh, tried to bring the big entertainer there, um, and uh, it didn't go through because they bragged too much about moving the team out of Buffalo to Toronto. And that did not sit well with uh, our friends at uh, in uh, in New York uh, with respect to uh, the commissioner at the time. Um, I I've been trying to uh, convince the guy that owns the uh, Four Seasons uh, Hotel, which I live in the residence part of now, uh, a guy by the name of Shahi Khan. Uh, Shahi Khan is the owner of the Jacksonville, Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars, and uh, I, every time he came to town, I was sort of ended up in front of him or calling him and having breakfast with him. And um, I thought there was a chance of getting uh, the Jaguars uh, to, to Toronto. And I think he took a serious look at it as well. They, it all came to an end uh, probably in the last year or 18 months. When the uh, fact is, is that um, the, the city of Jacksonville uh, went out of their way and gave them a lot more money to build a, even a better, a better facility. It's a kind of an interesting story because um, um, he was a big fan of supporting for president of the uh, United States, a guy by the name of DeSantis. Oh, yeah. Who, who, and I said, why would you support DeSantis? I, I was, I would have supported the Sanders myself, but he he basically said, well, he uh, really helped us um, with with the Jaguars, and uh, I didn't realize that uh, the Santis, uh really was born and educated in the uh, city of Jacksonville, uh, where he, he they came from. Uh, so they're good pals, but I'm afraid that thing's got. But look, I'm only 85 years old, and I still got a, a lot of <laughs> I still got a lot of um, ambition. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving up that um, uh, goal. And even though uh, people laughed at me when they when I was chasing baseball, they said you would never get it, you would never get it. So uh, I was fortunate enough to get it. And, um, I'm still going to feel the possibility of. Uh, and I, in fact, I go to I go to I speak to uh, Roger Goodell. Uh, about once a year, and when I see him, I said to him, Mr. Commissioner, I says, you know, I've got one, only one thing on my bucket list. And he always starts to laugh. He says, I know, I know. You don't have to keep telling me. So, but it's, but look, I think Toronto is a great, great site for the building. Well, that's true. I mean, there was a time when uh, the Skydome was built um, that you could have used that as your facility. But those days are over. You'd have yeah. to build a new stadium, wouldn't yeah, you? No, no doubt at all that. But you know what? I really think that this premier, um, Mr. Ford, is a great lover of the NFL for Canada. And uh, he happens to be building uh, something called the uh, Ottawa, the, what's it called? It's called the Ontario, the Ontario route of the uh, new uh, transit line, which is going to mm -hmm. go somewhere from the uh, Pope area, Pope uh, area up uh, there and ending in the Ontario place. You'll notice that uh, 
He's got Ontario Place uh, for things that he's looking at. Uh, the uh, he's he's closed the big uh, uh, center at uh, Don Mills and uh, yeah, the Science Center. Yeah, and and he's he's taking that to the waterfront. And so I, I think, look, I'm a guy that dreams about uh, winning. You know what? The water <laughs> save a lot of things. I'm not looking. I haven't got the money to buy anything in the um, in a, an NFL team, but I think what what a dream it would be to at least finish your career, finish your life even by getting the something done in Toronto. And uh, as I said, I'm 85, but a lot of people still call me and ask me. I go to a Blue Jay game, but they, they ask me all about where, uh, where's the NFL. I've got union guys. There was one union guy that um, uh, helped us at uh, Post Media, and uh, he took over from um, his uh, his uh, union. And uh, when I uh, when uh, I wanted to see him to help me uh, get a little help from the union, and when I met when I met with him, he says, "Godfrey, I don't even want to say a word to you until you keep your word." He says, what are you talking about? He said, I always keep my word. He says, oh, yeah? You've been working for years for the goddamn football team for Toronto, an NFL team. You haven't got give. Well, I got to tell you, I made a promise to him like I made a promise to, to our friend that, uh, <laughs> that he, he would go with me to the first game. He reminds me of it all the time. 